find some rocks, you hit it, you find the fossils. Easy as that. You can take them, you can sell them, you can do whatever you want. You have this whole open range and the cool thing is this is the only place in the world that you can come and dig up your own fossils. There's trilobite quarries in British Columbia and also the Czech Republic but they don't let you take stuff out in British Columbia only the universities and, and paleontologists can actually see it. So you just find a rock and you start hammering away. Okay, so once you're digging through some rocks, you can use the actual hammer part to get more out or you use the chisel to break into layers. You have to be super careful because you might chop and find the actual trilobite. This one has molt, means he sheds his skin or it sheds its skin. And then this is the actual fossil because it has the cheeks right down below here. Typically, you'll find seven of these for every one of these. Once you find all your trilobites, then it's your next job to polish them to make sure that they're all shiny. But you better be careful because some rocks don't like water. So with this particular rock, you can take the oil from your forehead and then just rub, up, rub it on the trilobite and it will shine up real nice. That's after, of course, you saw it down with a Dremel. Thanks for joining this episode of Get Out and See Your Backyard. Stay home and stay safe or social distance. Corona 2020. Bree Weiss. We've made it home from You Dig Fossils. Now it's time to polish up our trilobites. I have my Dremel with my wire brush. I'm going to turn it on. And you're just going to lightly go back and forth to get all of the extra dirt and rock away so that your fossil comes into good view. And just for your reference, Antelope Island is north of here. <laughs> 